whether it's in the weight room, yeah, two. in the yeah. practice gym, or during a game. Everyone involved with the Marquette basketball program is looking to get the most out of each and every player. But it's what goes into each athlete's body that is getting more and more attention as teams look for any edge on the competition. The goal is to have the healthiest student athletes we can. Move fast, move fast, move fast. Todd Smith is the sports performance director for Marquette. <laughs> He oversees each athlete's strength and conditioning year-round and keeps track of each player's progress. Each month I get their body composition um, and that's seven sight skin fold. We put those numbers through a formula and I understand whether they've gained fat, gained muscle, what, what, what's going on with their body composition. Kind of coach them up on what they're eating, how much they need to eat, if they need to eat more, if they're losing muscle um, from just being so active on the court. Sometimes they have to have a, a press the reset button and say, look, you need to eat more because you're getting smaller, you're starting to dissolve. Recent NCAA rule changes allow Marquette to keep a closer eye on what each player eats. Its training table taken to a whole new level. Now, the media room at the Al McGuire Center doubles as a cafeteria. We'll have a chef five to six days a week preparing our food in front of us. It's, it's great, Marvin is excellent, and the guys trust them. So <laughs> I may ask them to eat broccoli, and they'll like, you know, give me the stiff arm, the Heisman, whatever, but our, if Marvin asks them to eat broccoli, they'll, they'll, they trust him and, and they'll do it every time. Players choose from a full menu of proteins, salads, and carbs, fuel to help them keep up with the demands they put on their bodies. Now it's not about them eating, it's about how much more do they need to eat to maintain what they're what they're doing on the court. But that only accounts for one meal a day. The Golden Eagles staff has everything else covered too. We're is responsible for about two meals, at least minimum a day for our team. So to try and take 14, 13 or 14 guys with all different needs, some of them are putting on weight, some of them are restricting weight, you know, everyone has their different needs. We're responsible for feeding them all different meals, snacks, full meals, breakfast, lunches, you name it. So for me, it's my job to kind of find out what they need, and then obviously provide the meal and make sure it's the right meal for each of them. Allison Kelleher is the program coordinator for the Golden Eagles. She has taken a program the NBA uses and put it into place at Marquette. We work exclusively with uh, Whole Foods, our local Whole Foods. Uh, we had heard a lot of NBA teams were doing it and just thought that we'd look into it, and they have an entire sports um, private catering options. So if one of our guys needs eight pieces of bacon because that's his protein and the other guy needs, you know, this many carbs, they've completely customized and catered around sports teams specifically. I work with them designing a menu that is completely, it's customizable and then it's also, it's all about options. Players also have access to a nutrition bar, smoothies, shakes, fruit, protein, and juices. Most days after practices or workouts, the guys will come in and make smoothies for what they want. It'll be a fruit smoothie with extra protein in it. It'll be whatever they want in terms of the 100% the juice or the cold pressed juices that we have. The shakes in there that have the extra protein infused in it, which that's a, that's a big part of them recovering. And it's really, it's quick and easy energy, um, a lot of protein. We, we, we coach up having protein in every, every meal or snack that they have every day. Catering to each individual taste is a challenge, and it's a program Marquette even takes on the road with them. We have bars, we have snacks, we have different kinds of snacks. We're always trying new things. Um, you have 13 different opinions and taste buds that we're always trying to do. So um, it's our job in the cities that we're going to to reach out and find out you know, who's a great, you know, good vendor to work with so that you know, in between a workout they can grab a snack or working with the hotel. And we might have burgers after a game and fries and stuff, but we might, they might be sweet potato fries that are made in a certain oil and they're grass-fed burgers. So they're still getting their stuff that they love. Each player has put so much effort into preparing themselves on the court, they know preparing their body is just as important. You have to work just as hard at nutrition and eating, when to eat, how to eat, how much to eat. Talk to student athletes, I always think about it as a, being an equilateral triangle. All three sides are equal, and if any one of those sides get out of whack, then you're not going to be optimally trained for your sport. Some of them will go home for Christmas break, you know, and they're sending me pictures of like, hey, look what I did or what. And it's a long, that's a big improvement from when they started. 